Okay, let's talk wide receivers. Um, Ike's hurt. Now nah, they say it's nothing serious, yada, yada, yada. Dude keeps getting these little tweaks and stuff. I don't like it. I mean, come on, man. But he's still young. Richie James is hurt. Travis Benjamin's hurt. Debo's cool. Travis Benjamin's the one that makes me mad. That makes me really mad. I'm gonna so you haven't played in like eight years, man. Get it together. Man, what are you doing here anyway? Like, I, 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 <laughs> So, wait a minute. So, all right. Not to pile on Travis Benjamin, but. Yeah. 32. 30, the 32 for him means he's really 38. That's not 32 Julio, okay? No. 38-year-old Travis Benjamin opts out last year for COVID. Not going to be fun of him about that. Okay? Take care of your family. You haven't done a thing. And you're, now yeah. you're hurt again? What? The, what? What? On earth? Yeah, yeah. Ex- you should be the freshest guy out there. You should be dusting everyone. No, seriously, in all seriousness right now. This has always been the fear with the wide receiver room. If Ayuk misses time, if Debo misses time, this becomes literally Man. the living carnation of that Packer game last year. Where Andrew Bourne was always one who would bail him out. Now he's I gone. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And that's what I think. And in the beginning, I was like, yeah, Kendrick Bourne, you, you, you don't really need him now. Now I understand exactly why you need him. First of all, he plays all the time. And once one of those guys gets hurt, he fills right in for them. Starter. And he's solid. Honestly, yeah. he's a starter. Now, yeah. let's just say doomsday scenario. Ayuk, Samuel, both hurt on the same week. Blah. It, it, it gets uh, – I don't know. Mohamed Sanu? I don't know. R- Jawan R- Jennings? Little Craycraft? Yeah. Little Craycraft? My, I mean, maybe. you said that you yeah. said that Sanu, Sanu's coming for that spot. I think he 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 smells blood in the water as far as like an open spot. That's there what it looked like season. yesterday, man. I've I've never seen I haven't seen a veteran play that hard in an OTA in a long time. It looked like he's like, I got this. All I got to do is put together like three good days, and I got this. Yeah, I mean, so and, it, but yeah. that's the thing. It's look, no disrespect to him, mm-hmm. no disrespect to any of those guys. They're all NFL players. It gets super hairy if any of these guys miss any time, and that's why. Me advocating for a wide receiver not named Julio Jones because, again, I still don't think that that's going to happen. A solid name like Golden Tate, like any of those guys, you just need somebody who can play football and you know is solid and is reliable. If you want to go into a week, let's just say Seattle week comes along and both of those guys are hurt. Now you're looking at starting Craycraft, Jalen Hurd if he's even there, Jawan Jennings, who who knows? I got this this wide yeah. receiver room is is very very scary once you pass the first two guys honestly. And I still we have still haven't mentioned Jalen Hurd, third round pick two years ago has earned two point two million dollars from the franchise hasn't stepped on the field really. Uh, if he could do something great, but he's still not practicing. He tore his ACL almost a year ago. I don't know about him. I mean, should should fans still hold out hope for him? Well, they should because it seems like these guys are going to give him every opportunity. And you have to remember the team is. Yeah, exactly. When you invest a a third round pick, you're not just going to kick the guy to the to the side, honestly. So should the fans expect anything? No, you got to give him money for four years. What are you going to do? Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's it's all trying to fetch happen. They try to make it happen. Make it happen. They're going to try to force him in there and get him in there because of the draft capital invested. And you also see the fit. It's not like the guy, if, if he's healthy, can't contribute. He could really be the X factor in this offense and really, really open some things up, especially when you consider Kyle's positionless football. So should you expect anything? No, but the 49ers are going to try to make that happen, especially now when they're already really dealing with All right, Ayuk's already injured. Debo missed practice because I think somebody knocked his window out of a car, out of his car or whatever. At oh, at the mall or something like that. Yeah, I saw that on his IG story. Yeah, yeah, so I don't know if he just went to go get his window fixed. Because I didn't see him yesterday reason. either, but they didn't say he was, he was hurt. So I figured, it, was, yeah. it was personal reason. Yeah, so I, I, I'm guessing he probably just went to get his window fixed on his car. He missed practice to get his window fixed. He couldn't delegate that. He didn't have an assistant. Come on, dog. I don't know if it's that. Practice. I'm just saying. I, I just know practice, that the day before. Dude. I know the day he before on his IG. He's like, come on, man. I can't even valet my car right now, and it got smashed. He valeted the car, and they and they smashed his window on the on the the passenger yeah. side. Maybe it was the maybe the valet did it. Maybe the valet was a Seahawks fan. Is Santa Claus out there, Debo? Is is Santa Claus? Is is there a hood? Uh, Santa (laughs) Claus? No, dude. Santa Clara is all strip mall, man. It's just one strip mall and then another strip mall. So I don't know where he was. He was in Santa Clara. Why? I guess. I mean, I don't know. I I mean, he had to get ready for practice the next day, but that's what I saw. Anyway, I mean, honestly, when it comes down to this, the oh, he said he was in. He was in. At the mall in San Jose. Oh, yeah, San Jose is a whole different oh, thing. San Jose okay. is a big, big right. city with where, where anything goes. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, what I want to so, say real quick, uh, to, yeah. not, to not be totally um, negative, Juwan Jennings is playing well, but he's a slot receiver. But, Snoo playing but, well, slot receiver. If any of these other outside receivers get hurt, who steps up? They can't win Richie on the James? outside. 
Yeah, no, can, I don't know. They they don't have guys that can win on the outside like that. Honestly, it's just yeah. it's they would have to start. They would have to start getting elaborate with how they use George Kittle and start using him more as you know. It, it's True. it's all it all boils down when people True. ask about the pack. Usually, there's so much of it was just about who was just healthy and available. Honestly, True. so when you when you point to data points of oh they ran three wide receiver sets here and there, how many times did they have those guys all together in 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 a game? Maybe once, twice, three times last year. So it's really yeah. tough to gauge how they intend to do all of this. When last year it was more about all right, who's healthy? Well, let's just play whoever's healthy, and instead of going with your your ideal personnel groups. That's right. Uh, B money to to, to, wrap, to put a bow on this topic. B money. With a lot of numbers, are you? Do you need the numbers? I mean, you're the only B money, right? I'm just saying. Uh, how much will we miss Kendrick Bourne this season? I mean, a lot. That's a good question. A lot. A lot. A lot. Again, yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when he was a free agent, I wasn't exactly banging the table saying you have to bring this guy back. But when we really start to sit back and think about how he contributed, it was when guys went down. It was yeah. when he was pressed into duty that he was solid. And now you don't have that safety blanket anymore. Do you think that yeah. Richie James can do what Kendrick Bourne does on third down and in the red zone? Yeah. I'm not betting on that. I'm not trying to say that he can't, but it's really. Is Mohamed really, Sanu as good as Kendrick Bourne? No, not anymore. There's a reason why the Patriots paid uh, it's Bourne what they paid him. He's worth it. And also, they're going to utilize him in a way that it's going to make them money. They're not going to turn Bourne into a straight nine route guy. He's going to live no. in that intermediate range where he's at. You know, so again, they had a fit for him. They saw what he did. They realized they can utilize that whether Cam or Max starts. So, yes, they're going to miss Kendrick Bourne. And I think it was a bit of a slap in the face when people were just like, I let him go. Who cares? We don't need him. You know, only have 44 catches. Man, those catches were on third down and in the red zone. And during times when Debo didn't play, during times when IU didn't play. So I think you're kind of missing that. And it kind of undervalues him when you talk about him badly. Not you, but and anybody. It, yeah, and his availability is so crucial on a team that lacks it. Availability. They always say it's the number. It's the most. It's the most important ability. ability. But they don't. Yep. But they don't really believe it. They say it, but they don't believe it. And then you. Then you learn the hard way. <laughs>